Hey everybody, welcome to the OMHPI show. I'm your host, Silent Evil, and I'm here to inform you about anything paranormal. Straight up weird, crazy, insane, whatever it takes. But you know what? It's up to you to decide if it's real or if it is fake. Now, talking about crazy and insane, I mean, you know, there's people out there that are just straight up weird, crazy, whatever. I mean, people do some crazy stuff just to get online. People just do crazy stuff in general just to be like, hey, notice me. But, you know, speaking of crazy, there is one guy that has done an absolute insane thing. Yeah, and you know what? I'm talking a crazed man who murders his ex fiance feeds her ground beef remains to her parents at a barbecue. Who in their right mind actually does this? I mean, who in their right mind? I mean, that is absolutely fucking nuts. Do you see how fat this dude looks? I mean, he's just like, dude, he's got the biggest neck I have ever seen. I mean, whoa. Man, whoo, boy. I would not want to be around that dude on a buffet at all. So, so basically, the story goes in 2014, a Little Rock, Arkansas man, Jimmy Roberts, reported his fiance, Andrea Reynolds, is missing. And a statewide police search just goes apeshit. Has to find her. Just like any other kidnapping or anybody goes missing, state police go, we must find her. We must find her now. Oh, okay. Well, they reportedly never gave up the search. Well, uh, until now. So, according to the police reports, eventually they pinpointed Jimmy Roberts as the POI person of interest okay and they obtained a search warrant for his arrest now what they discovered in his basement freezer was the remains of andrea reynolds now that's just straight up weird he just hacked up he goes which hacks that woman up right so as he hacks her up what's even more gruesome is what they find underneath his home. Unbeknownst to her parents, the late night search meeting barbecue and barbecue left Andrea Reynolds literally right under. No. I mean, come on. Whoa. This dude even confessed about it. I mean, he was like, I caught her cheating on it. Uh, I lost it. I killed her and her boyfriend. I had to come up with something quick. Uh, so I reported her missing. Everybody began doing this, and then I barbecued for all the volunteers. But what they didn't know is that I grinded her up in a meat grinder. Holy God have mercy. Wow, this dude even says revenge. <laughs> Never tasted so sweet. That is sick. Dude ate her as a fucking hamburger. Who eats somebody as a hamburger like that? That's just, that, that's just messed up. Now, uh... Wow. Uh, Lieutenant Mark Hill, he also said, he commented on this whole situation. He goes, this most brutal sense act of violence I have ever seen in my 28 years of service. 28 years. Boom. Whoa. If I saw that, if I was a police chief and, or a lieutenant, whatever, and I saw that crap, I'd be like, Poof. mind blown. What in the hell? And, okay, as for the murder, Jimmy Roberts is being held without bond in the county jail awaiting his December court hearing. Now, to me, that sounds, it's a little too soon. I mean, come on, really? Usually the judicial court system and everything like that, or any kind of court system is like, all right, well, we're going to have your case here, and then we're going to have it in like two more years. You just go to jail. But December, let's hope this dude gets the chair. I mean, holy crap on a cracker. That is absolutely nuts. I mean, who in their right mind would just go ahead and go, I found my ex-girlfriend cheating. Okay, most people who are cheaters, right, they just go, mm, I'm going to go on the cheaters uh, <laughs> TV show and I'm going to I'm gonna embarrass you and throughout the entire, and I'm going to embarrass you like, why? Why did you cheat on me? And then a fight breaks out and everybody's like punching the fool out of each other. And But this dude, right, okay, this dude grinds her up into a hamburger and everybody is eating it. I mean, there's got to be a distinct taste unless you're using some kind of barbecue sauce or something. You're trying to cover up that taste, right? Mmm, yeah, this tastes really good. Mmm, ground beef. Yum, yum, yum. No, 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 no. No, no. You know what? No. No, no, no. Huh. Whoa. Done. 
Hey guys, hey, if you are enjoying the show, hey, hit that subscribe button down there, comment below, positive and negative, hey, whatever, you know, it's just a show and we're all here to have fun, you know, I mean, trust me, there are some weird people out there, but it's up to you. Now remember, it is up to you to decide if it's real or is it fake, okay? Now I'm just giving you a little bit of the story, seeing if it's real or not, it's up to you to do the research. I know you guys are all out there, the paranormal investigators, or the PIs if you want for short, but you know what guys, it's all up to you. So hey, I'll see you guys next time.